Math is the queen of sciences. Math is what connects all the sciences together, and it's the language all the sciences. So it has a central role. I was attracted to the center in part by its name, the Center for Mathematical Sciences and Applications. The CMSA is a hub that brings together mathematicians from all parts of campus, but also beyond. The founder, S. T. Yao, had a very prescient vision. It's a center for mathematics in two-way interaction with science. The disciplines represented at the CMSA include physics, mathematics of course, computer science, biology, and economics. We run workshops and programs which are really at the interface of mathematics and one of these other other disciplines. The idea is to create uh, uh, an environment where mathematicians are brought in to, to contact with questions in the sciences. It's kind of an exhilarating place as a mathematician to find oneself. A lot of my research is very theoretical, but it is driven by real life scenarios. So it felt like a good fit. We have very active imaginations. We rely on our imaginations and to have them kind of tethered to something from the physical world, it's a good place to be. <laughs> We have a, you know, a large group of very active postdocs who, again, are you know, eager to both uh, you know, make contact with everything that's happening here and make their own marks. I do research between algebraic combinatorics, which is a pure math, and in high energy physics, uh, which is in theoretical physics. And if it was not for CMSA, it would be hard for me to find uh, this uh, spot between uh, a physics department and a pure math department. The main feature of being a postdoc at CMSA is, I would say, academic freedom. So you have the, already the freedom and the independence to craft your own research program and then go and seek out collaborations across Harvard and kickstart collaborations to pursue that research program. For many people who have a broad education, uh, that's actually a plus to come as a postdoc to a place where they're going to be exposed uh, to a slice of ideas different from what they learned in graduate school or their first postdoc. Bringing math in connection with the physical sciences creates an interesting boundary condition for ideas in math, and it's inspiring to most mathematicians to work in these kind of with these kind of connections. And so the CMSA is there to really foster that kind of relationship. I've been involved in organizing several thematic programs at the CMSA at the interface of theoretical physics, high energy physics, and algebraic combinatorics. We have a, a seminar series called the uh, New Technologies in Mathematics Seminar. Many of the uh, developments of this AI revolution, the ones that directly bear on mathematics, we were getting some of the uh, first talks about these things. We had one last year, for example, by Jan LeCun about the current state of machine learning and some of the limitations about machine learning going forward. One area of activity that we had, we organized uh, three or four years ago at CMSA, was a year-long uh, visitors program where the visitors would come and give lectures about topics related to my area of string theory. And this brought diverse group of experts from around the world here. And this gave us an opportunity to talk with colleagues which we would not necessarily usually speak with. Two years ago, I participated in a small workshop here, and the CMSA had set up a room for us to have lectures in. There were refreshments and meals. And we got here and we looked in the room and we went straight up to the common room where there were couches and a giant chalkboard. And we just started talking one by one at the board. And we spent the whole week in that room in front of the board, and it was just fantastic. We felt a little bit bad, like we weren't using the place right, and I discovered dropping by here weeks after that that that's the kind of thing that happens here every single day. We're quite excited about having CMSA here because it's a place where we can share our problems with people who might have solutions. One of the trends in modern science is collecting more information. Uh, the problem is that it's easy to generate data, but it's very hard to make sense of it. And this data is multidimensional, and it falls much more into a mathematical problem, actually, than an intellectual one that can be solved just by talking. I'm excited by the idea that over the years we're training a cadre of mathematicians and scientists who have the capability to do this kind of communication across fields, and as they go out, they bring that to other places.
The day we live in is a particularly exciting time for mathematical application uh, and physical application because of uh, machine learning and quantum computing, renewable energy. There are so many areas uh, with the potential to change how we live where uh, mathematics is going to be crucial. So CMSA is going to be central. Looking forward, we want to build on some of the successful programs we've had and keep searching and running new programs. I'll also be looking to hire new faculty and have more people affiliated with the center and to expand our reach. It kind of reinvents itself every year and it's unusual to have such a nimble organization of serving math and in its relationship with the sciences.